Wow, where's the other truck? Well, it might be downstairs. Oh, oh no, it's right here. There's right here, right there. Okay. They're both there. There it is. You know how to use a lock? Yeah, there's just one key is different than the other one. Yeah. Get that on the footage? You get that on the camera? Of I do. Awesome. Welcome to another episode of JD and the Sub C. Hi, I'm D. This is Jay getting a good cameo in this. Um, so at this point, we are at Old Guard Games, our new gaming store. And this is going to be our first of these setting up the board uh, videos. Well, based here now, instead of the basement of my hardware store. Um at yep. this time, Call. we're uh, <laughs> figuring out we actually need more to no because this, this board Just to let is you know. <laughs> uh, really big for Necromunda. I know, but <laughs> this always seems to happen to us. These things start getting really huge uh, because, well, for the most part, I get excited. Um, yeah, at Old Guard, we've got our own cabinet, uh, which is what... <laughs> You kind of saw the opener there. Um, yeah, this is other terrain I've made over the years. Uh, we decided to put in. Um, yeah, this is not your normal Ashway sport. Uh, this thing's huge. We had uh, what, six to eight. Jay, pop in on the comments and say how many people we actually had. I'm fairly sure Jay's going to be making a video of this. This is the great Halloween game when uh, they actually get to Secundus, which is why I was building this wall um, and building it again and then painting it. Um, really wanted to get this one with a lot less uh, edited footage to it. Um, I actually, after combing through this a couple of 50 times, on this footage, sped it up just a little bit. It's rough, I know, but I really think it gives you a very, yeah, there's some abrupt <laughs> zooming in and out. Uh, we're using the cameras at Old Guard Games uh, over there, Jay's uh, also doing his camera phone. So I know at some point there's gonna be a video of this game, a battle report, but um, yeah, you know, we, Need to speed this up a little bit. Also, giving to the ambiance of exactly how massive this board is. Um, it's huge. Um, we're going to be bringing out uh, ash tray or ash waste terrain uh, that I actually made for 40k years ago. Um, but I repainted it up and added some posters and necromunded it up. Um, not new for me. Uh, but uh, yeah, this is the the. The campaign ending at the Ash Wastes, um, or at the at the Ash Wastes, at uh, the Dust Wall. Uh, the next campaign we're going to be running at the game store is going to be Secundus, and the wall's going to be on the other side, or maybe we'll just turn it around. I'm not sure. <laughs> not sure yet. But uh, yeah, this is. Uh, there's there's a lot of people playing on this, which is why it's so big. It's probably four. Four or five tables all put into one. Although um, ash waste boards are a, a bit bigger than normal Necromunda boards, but you know it's it's all relative. As you can probably see by the fact that Jay and I are laughing our rear ends off while we're doing this. Um, yeah, you know this is what you want to do. This is what you want to be doing. You want to be. You want to be setting up a really cool board for a whole bunch of people, you know, cool people that just want to have fun on a Thursday night, you know, for a few hours and forget all about the rest of whatever's going on, you know, and just let it rip little models. 
Gaming. Um, I want to especially thank uh, Ty over at I Paint Small Things YouTube channel. I will put a link in the description so you can pop over and check out his stuff. Any of the buildings uh, that have lights flashing off of them, um, those are his. Uh, he 3D printed and painted all those. Um, I'm fairly sure he has a video on that, um, but you'll have to go over there and check his stuff out. But yeah, some of this terrain, well, okay. So that one with the light on, that one's mine. Um, but <laughs> disclaimer note, um, and I hope you all of you have figured out at this point, if you're watching us, that I really don't know what I'm talking about most of the time, but we're talking anyway, so we might as well keep talking. So, um, but yeah. Uh, yeah, this was just a massive, massive board. Uh, yeah. It was really cool. Like, it was able to use all this terrain I made all these years ago. Um, at the same time, Jay made that wall, by the way, um, to just reinvigorate it for a new gaming system. This was fantastic. The game was great. Like I said, there'll be a battle report on it in a little while here. Um, yeah, that was so much fun building these. The big trench. And then the secondary trenches. Yeah, I bought a whole book on how to, how to build trenches and how they made them in World War I. Um, and I tried to mimic that a bit. And, of course, now we are going to end this video with uh, some close-ups of the wall here. Uh, and once again, this is pretty much unabashed footage. Um, I really thought it would do more justice for this piece. Um, yeah, I put a lot into this guy right here. Um, possibly even more than the sump wall. Uh, simply because of the color scheming with the dual color scheming on either sides. Um, yeah, you really get to see a lot of the coloring with this. But uh, I, needless to say, I'm ridiculously proud. This was a blast. We're going to be playing on this for years. There's going to be all kinds of good stuff coming on. And yep, there we are. <laughs> Secret entrance. <laughs> the one with all the arrows. Have a great night, you guys. And if you like us, please like and subscribe. <laughs>